I will show you a quick recap of our July 2021 budget and where our dollars went. All the numbers are real and you will see all our July expenses, savings and how the things changed during the months after we set up our budget. So let's dive in. Hi everyone and welcome to the Stay Scrappy channel. I'm Irene. We are a family of two living on one income in Florida. At the end of the previous month I recorded a video showing how we budget for July and today uh, I showed the actual part, the real numbers and how much we spent, how much we saved, where we overspent and everything in between. Today is beginning of August 2021 and that means we closed our July budget. This spreadsheet you see right now I created by myself. This is the result of trial and error over several years. I improved it, changed it, tried to make it useful for all the different situations that may happen in our life. We did an unexpected thing this month, actually we knew about this expense, but didn't expect it to happen this month, so didn't plan for it. But that is totally fine, because anyway we had the money for that expense already set aside on our savings account. But we will go back to it later. Before we start, as you can see, the July month has uh, two vertical parts budget and actual. The budget part are the numbers I have entered by myself before the month started, so during the month of July I had a plan and was sticking to it. The actual part show our real budget and how it was in real life, not just assumptions before the month starts. In the actual part, uh, in the section budgeting and results, the numbers are entered automatically. Do you see the formulas in each cell? These numbers the spreadsheet just transferred for me from the monthly tracker section. Each expense I make or every dollar we receive as income we will put into the monthly tracker section, assigning that expense or income to a specific category – income or savings, debt or transportation, food or shopping, and so on. In the monthly tracker section I provide information about the expense or income, the day when the expense was made or income received. The asterisk near the day tax shows that this column is required. If I will not fill all the data in the required columns, I will see an error message and the dollar amount I have entered will not be entered automatically in the budget and results section. Next is the institution column where I indicate whom I got money from or where I spent the money. There is a description column where I can explain what I spent money on or in the same way I can describe the income. The account or pay method column allows me to indicate which card I used to pay for certain expenses or maybe I paid with cash so I will also indicate that. The spender column as well as the account or pay method column uh, has a drop down list where I can select a needed option. For example, for the spender column I can select Mike or Irene because we both have credit cards, debit cards or cash to spend money. Most of the time you will see Mike as a spender because I am not that person who often goes to the store alone to buy something and when we buy groceries my husband Mike uses uh, the card with his name on it, so he is a spender. The next required column is amount. Here is where I will show how much I spent on certain expenses. The next two columns category and type are also required. I need to assign the category for the expense type, so the spreadsheet will know into which category to add this expense. And in the type I just confirm that this expense was a need or want. In case with income I will just select here option income and for savings savings option. Let me show you real quick our monthly tracker section. Let's start with the income. As you can see, the biggest portion of our family income is my husband's salary. I have no permit to work in USA, so his salary is the main source of our income. He can get occasionally some additional business income, but this is not much. And also we get a tiny amount of money in the form of savings account interest. This is a Bank of America savings account, so the interest earned is really tiny. 
We have other savings accounts, but these are separate. We don't even count that money in our daily life, so don't show the interest uh, here. You will see how much interest we earn on those accounts in one of uh, the next videos when I will show our net worth. In the transfer section we show that we sent money back to our separate savings account from the Bank of America account. We transferred that money because planned to spend them but didn't need so much and so here I show that we sent them back. And on top of the page you can see how much less money we have left over to work with after we made this transaction. We have such uh, before take home expenses, dental, vision, medical and life insurances and also we contribute some money to HSA account and 401k retirement account. All this data I just copy and paste from the previous months because it is completely the same. Speaking about the savings section, we invested $5,000 on Robinhood and $5,000 transferred to our separate savings account. And the next one is a section with all the housing expenses and bills we need to pay. This month, except the standard expenses, we have some big expenses we didn't plan to have this month. That's okay, we had money for these expenses, but this month our expenses may exceed our normal amounts we pay on bills. We skip the debt section because we don't have any debts. In a transportation section we spent only around $30 for fuel. My husband went to Miami about two weeks ago to meet with his co-worker from the previous place of work and we have not refueled the car for almost two months, so he spent money on gas. And also he paid $12 for parking. Pay attention how I divide these expenses into two sections – needs and wants. Spend money on parking is a want, because you can spend time and find a free parking, but fuel is a need, because you need it to drive a car. We didn't plan to spend money on parking, but because he went to Miami and this trip wasn't expected, wasn't planned, um, that's why we basically overspent in this uh, category. On the food and drinks we also didn't spend much. Mike spent some money at the restaurant in Miami. This expense you see in the wants part of this category. And in the needs part we have only two expenses. We did two grocery trips to Aldi only because in the first trip I didn't buy chicken breasts. They were on sale and the shelves were empty. We went to the store next day early in the morning to buy the chicken. In the one section I have two expenses with zero dollar amounts. But the real amounts in the receipts are indicated in the description for each expense. I put zero dollars because we paid for this expense with cashback money on our Apple card. This cashback also partially paid for the groceries in the needs part. Look at the real amount in the description. We spent almost $120, but paid only about $17. The rest was paid with cashback. The $575 in the shopping section is the amount of money we spent basically during the Amazon Prime Day. This is all we spent, but bought items worth about $170. You can check what we bought and how we did it only for $5.75 on our Amazon Prime Day video. Find the link in the description box below or it will appear on the top right corner of the video. So we made the purchase on Amazon Prime Day in June, but the transaction took place in July, when the last item was delivered. That is why this expense happened in July. Basically, in the wants part you see what we bought and that we spent zero dollars on those items. We also bought some tools at Home Depot. This purchase is a want, not an essential purchase, so in the wants category it will be shown. In the leisure section we had only one expense. We changed a back tire on my husband's bicycle. The cost of the tire was $38.51, but Mike decided to use the cash back we already had from Apple Card. So this tire cost us $0 because we do not count cash back in the income category in this budget. This is just free money we got from our Apple credit card and that free money paid for this tire today. 
medicine section has also one expense. My husband had a teeth cleaning procedure at the dentist office. I didn't budget for this expense and now we always spend in this category. But at least we had $50 in the medicine section for non-prescribed medications, which we didn't buy. So use that money to pay for this teeth cleaning procedure. The business section is empty, we didn't have any expenses here. In the additional section I just duplicated all the purchases we made on Amazon, so here you can see once again the $575. And now comes the budgeting and results section of this spreadsheet. All the numbers in the actual part are entered automatically. These all are the numbers you saw before. For example, this number was taken from here salary on the 15th of July. I indicated the day, amount, category and type and the formulas put a number where it needs to be. 15th uh, is the third week of the month approximately, at least it falls into this range of dates. Then in the section the columns left over, overspend and under over show me how I did compared with the budget numbers. And these formulas work for each category in the sections. For example, in the toiletries and personal care I plan to spend this month $25, but ended up spending only $5.75, so I have $19.25 left over, and this is good because I am under my budget. Another example is water and silver. I overspent here $34.02 this month. I didn't spend on trash this month, so have 25 left over, but still it is $9 more. Our apartment complex was sold to another company, we are still in the transferring period and have a mess with the accounts, new additional fees and payments, but $9 is too much. I should open the water bill and examine it carefully because looks like either we spent too much water uh, or the prices for this service went up. We checked last month's electricity bills and the prices went up a little bit. I even checked our last year's electricity usage and last year the bills were lower. So if you notice your bills went up, check the prices per unit in your bill. And finally, here are rather short results we overspent this month. Our expenses are way higher than our income, but we still managed to save more than expected. That is because we had money saved aside and so the big expense was covered by that money. The same is for the 70 by 30 rule. We saved more than expected, but our expenses were higher. Now let's pay attention to these graphs. This is how I budgeted everything and this is how the real actual budget looks like. We had this unexpected huge expense in the third week of the month and things went not as expected. But we had the money to pay for that expense, so no issues. This expense just happened earlier than we planned. And on the pie chart you can see the distribution of the expenses or how much we spend in each category. I also want to show you the full monthly results, uh, it is easy. Just click on the link and here we are. First I will see a big graph with our income, expenses, savings and leftover money. This spreadsheet is yearly budget, it has info about each previous month, so in this results section I can easily see how current income differs from what we planned before the year even started and what we got the previous months. Same with expenses and savings. To see more results I go to the budgeting and results section and can check results in the text form here uh, for each line or for each item uh, in each category or just compare totals on the graphs. All these cells contain formulas and numbers are generated automatically based on the data I entered before in the monthly tracker section. Just one example. This month we got less money in the other income category. In the previous months we have more income because of the tax return we got. It happens once a year, so that is normal that we don't have this type of income this month. Let's quickly check the expenses on water and sewer here in the results. So as you can see we planned in the beginning of the year $25 to spend on this category. 
Previous month we spent uh, almost $55 and this month is already $59. If I want to see the year's dynamic uh, for this category, I will just go to the actual year monthly result section to check the amount uh, month by month. So based on the numbers we saw, our water and sewer bills definitely went up. I budgeted $25 in the beginning of the year because this is the amount we normally spend each month. But this year, because of the inflation, all the prices go up, so looks like our water and sewer bills also will be higher just because of the price change. We didn't start to use twice as much water, this is just because the price for the service went up. And this way you can compare all the numbers with the previous month's numbers or the planned amounts. This is helpful to compare because you will see the differences and will see how each month differs from the previous and this helps to budget better in the future. You also should be able to explain those differences so you will know why exactly this expense happened or what you spent money on. This helps analyze your expenses and not only thoughtlessly add them into the monthly budget section line by line. So here are our real July 2021 budget results. Subscribe to the channel to know more about how we budget our net worth and all expenses we have. Be wise with your money and do more with less. See you! Bye!